and this is my sorry. And apologies, uh, I mean, we only are a minute late starting, but apologies for keeping everyone waiting. Um, apologies for absence. Yeah, we've got Councillor D'Souza, Councillor Wenham, and Councillor Bond. And I also received apologies from, did you say Councillor Wenham? Oh, you did. Well, you, yeah, yeah, because you said And you Leslie. Said. Councillor oh. Leslie as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, yeah, okay, well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, does anyone have any declarations of interest? None. Junior interests? None. Um, and public participation. Would any members of the public like to participate? <clears throat> well, I was going to come in this point, but I see it looks like we've actually got the gender on to look number 13. So. Um, at item 13, uh, standing orders can be suspended um, if councillors see clear. Generally, there's been a precedent set that that is the way that we would engage. So I think if you hold fire, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've noticed that we've been going quite a the, the fence on the Victoria wine shop is hanging across the bathroom. I don't know if there's anything you can do to write to the people that own the property or are, you know, are responsible for it to get that sorted. Shall we? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Anyone else? Right, moving on. Uh, we have minutes of the Environment Committee on the 16th of October. Can I please have any? Um, amendments for a proposal and second of their acceptance, please. I'll propose their acceptance. Thank you. <laughs> Seconded. Oh, <clears throat> seconded by Councillor Wesley. Uh, item six actions arising from outstanding actions. Uh, we've got, do you want to go through these, Sharon? Just, yeah, is it going to be easier yeah. rather than me referring yeah, to you every time? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yes. Just as you're the one that's been working so hard. <laughs> Okay, uh, minute item 01221. Um, the location for the cycler acts is dependent on item eight. Uh, so if the gold compound is approved, then we can perhaps revisit that when we get to item eight, if that's okay. And I haven't had managed to look at the fitness bench of the game yet, but that'll be one of the next job. Thank you. Um, Judy Wood, um, we have got to do the variation of obligation. Um, I'm going to suggest that we go with Rogers and Norton, um, but also just to let you know that um, the uh, the all of the surveys have been commissioned, so we're now waiting for them to uh, take place, and then we'll get the results from that, and hopefully we're on schedule to. Um, but um, also, um, I'm going to ask uh, the North Wildlife Trust to come and do a survey as well. So I haven't got a costing for that yet, but I'll get that when I when I get the actual price. I'll put that on next agenda. Thank you. Gateway signs is on the agenda. Uh, minute item 03522. Minute item 01623. Uh, I did have a, a site visit on the 13th of November with Chloe Gordon, who is from the Norfolk Wildlife Trust. She's new to the trust, so she also is new to the site. So obviously it's, it's her first time and my first time visiting as well. I did make a note of your comment, um, Councillor Taylor, about the um, ditches that need clearing. So I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that and I will look into that. Um, Minute item 01723, the cemetery hedges. We put some notices up to ask anybody <laughs> what they thought of the new layout. We haven't had any adverse comments on that so far, so so far so good. Um, minute item 01923, Queen Square Cinema. The only thing I've done on that is to um, provisionally put an amount into the budget on that one, which needs to be approved when you actually get to that. So, um, Minute item 2123, uh, we have, um, I have now managed to contact Norfolk County Council or County Estates about the old library site to ask if that's a possible venue for the youth club. Unfortunately, they are making use of that building. They say soon, I don't know how sad soon soon is, um, but they said that no, we can't actually um, use that even if it's temporarily, which is very unfortunate. Is it still registered as a community asset? 
it may well be because I know there they have plans to you they have yeah. plans that once that runs out for something else, but I think we do need to push I to think keep it. Yeah, really yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Correspondence not too long ago, was there? Yeah, and um, for us to support it, yeah, that's, I've got that diary for next year, yeah. They, um, but that yeah, only that. kicks in if they are telling if they if it is an asset of community value, they have to let Brecht and, and district council know that they're going to sell. So that only kicks in if they plan to sell. If they're planning to make use of it, then that asset is that is no use to us because we you know, we're, we're sort of beholding to them to sort of let us use it. Um, so yeah, uh, so that's unfortunate. And I was actually going to ask them as well if that could be a possible venue for the um, uh, kindness, yeah. yeah, a little more kindness, a little more kindness so, yeah. initiatives, so yeah. Good. But of course, that's also out the window. <laughs> but I may well still keep an eye on it to see how long it's going to take them to use it because I might actually try and sway them if they've got said they're not going to use it for the next two years, I might be able to badge it. Like, just, you know, you don't know. I think the thing is, what their intention is to go in there, I personally feel is really a waste of it. What they want to put in there is much better sighted at County Hall. I don't actually even know why they're going to try and put what they want to put in there in our borough. I think it's quite ludicrous, especially when it could be a community yeah. asset. Yeah, so I'll, I'll look at close eye on that, see if I can. Um... Thank you. Minute 02823. Uh, the bench is at the old post office. Um, I've gone through the process of finding out who the owners are. I know who they are. I've written to them via the land registry through Clarion. I haven't had a response. So my next move is to write a letter to them to say, haven't had a response from but just to let you know we intend to progress the ventures. And then, you know, if they haven't responded, then they're going to do it. So it's a good thing to do for the town. And then 2923, the church hall, um, the report, um, discretionary spend uh, of £250 has been quoted by uh, Council West B. Um, so that, we're waiting for that report to come through. Oh, that one, yeah. Thank you. You must come in. Yeah. The bench on the recreation ground is done and finished. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, so, moving on, and thank you for those updates, Sharon. I just thought it'd be a lot more efficient and yeah. the one that's obviously yeah. done right yeah. yeah. exactly yeah. where we are yeah, that's and for you to provide them. Um, so, item seven is correspondence, uh, resident request regarding unsafe pathways at Famous Meadow. Does anyone have any opening comments? Is it, is it, when were those photographs taken? Were they taken when everything else was flooded? Um, they, they are this week, I think. They are this week. Um, um, but mm -hmm. again, it's not yeah. it, um, just behind the football club. Mm -hmm. I have been in correspondence with Derek on that. Um, so I've got to do a little bit more homework on their part. And uh, what we've done is that today, just the same thing. We've just closed it off um, until such time as we can get the grounds in the and look at it. But we have um, mentioned to the club that it is noticed that, I'm looking at the records, there has been some correspondence way back about the, you know, pot, putting possible drainage there. So again, hopefully we can work with the football club and um, sort out a solution once and for all. Okay, so obviously at the moment, um, on the agenda it shows for consideration on resolution. Should we have it for information tonight and leave you yeah. to continue yeah. in those yeah, discussions? Yes, because we haven't really um, had a chance to sort of look at the issue properly, but... Okay. Yeah. And is everyone happy with that? Yes, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, next on the agenda is item 8, which is the Atwood Town Football Club Gamers Goal Compound for consideration and resolution. Um, the compound itself... Um, has been included in the lease, which obviously was not an agreement that the council made, um, but it is a legal document that is, you know, irrespectively withheld. Um, so it's really just the agreement on, you know, the fact that there is going to be a compound that's outlined on the lease. The suggestion from the site meeting that we had last week or the week before was that it'd be a temporary house fencing structure that could be removed at the end of the tenancy. Councillor Taylor. 
Um, I just have a couple of comments on this. And firstly, like quite rightly, quite rightly, twice the football club have come to us and said that this is included in their lease. Obviously, that is not minuted or documented anywhere in the text. So is a prime example of an incompetent clerk and a rogue councillor. Uh, the councillor, actually the football club did name a at the site meeting and did call out in the meeting to ask him to confirm it, but he had amnesia and, and couldn't. The long and the short of it is fairies did not break into our office or our solicitor's office and draw a compound on that lease. Somebody did, and that's shame on who, that officer and that, that town councillor. Quite rightly so, it is in their lease, and we cannot say no, so it has got to be there because it is in their lease. And, like, that is that is right. But um, I'm just worried how the is going to be a bit unsightly. Can we not screen it? Can we have it screened somehow so it blends in a bit better than just, like, yeah, you industrial just, Harris yeah. fencing. I just think that maybe yeah, if we can sweet. just make it, yeah, blend in a little bit better. I, mean, I have no problem with the house fencing going up. I'm just thinking it is an area that we try and keep as natural as possible. So if if we could just ask that it is considerate, like consider, considerately screened, like I have no objection to it. But um, I just think the whole whole issue with this lease has been a farce with rogue officers and councillor putting in something into a contract that members didn't agree, and then an incompetent clerk bringing it to members to sign without due delegation, I think is awful. Bearing in mind that clerk, ex councillors on this from this council have been promoting all over social media and in this forum. We've just gone through a list of actions that were not done. It, it's it's ridiculous how this council functioned. Thank you. Is there any other comments from the table? Well, yes, I think that was a bit over the top. That's not the agenda item. No, but it needed to be said for the public. But you've tonight. said it several times and it is no need to If be... I may. Yes, sorry, through the chair. I, I think <clears throat> that actually it is part of the discussion in respect to that members may feel dissatisfied about how we've come to the point where we're now at, where we have to agree something that we may or may not have wished to agree because our hands are now tied and have been tied in an unjust manner. Um, but if we can get back to the discussion of actually it's a compound, are we in agreement that we can proceed as long as on the basis that it's obviously a temporary structure that can be removed as and when the lease comes to an end, and it is screened appropriately, so it's considerate to the surroundings. It is a temporary. Yes. Can I have a proposal and a seconder, please? Oh. Proposed by Councillor S. Taylor, seconded by Councillor J. Taylor, and a show of hands, please. Um, so that's I'm carried. Not, I'm not sure. Okay. What are you unsure oh. about? You... That will come later. So I'll for it. As it's only a temporary structure. So that's one, two, hands up clearly, please. Sorry, Mr. Four, five, six, yes, six, seven. Yes, as long as it's a temporary structure. Okay. Moving on is item nine, which is the Town Hall Accessibility Consideration and Resolution. Oh, councillors. Can I have a proposal and seconder for a member of the public to speak to suspend standing orders? Councillor S. Taylor, Councillor J. Taylor, and the show of hands. That's carried. Yeah. Thank you. I just wanted to make it clear that the request with regards to the compound was actually to vary the lease and include within it a um, piece of tarpaulin, basically, uh, on the ground, which would be went to the site to discuss. So that the grass then didn't grow around the base into the netting, which would make it difficult for maintenance from the ground to tend. That was really where the original request came from to ask for a membrane to go down within the Harris fencing. We did say that in the meeting, though. That was, yeah, I think that, that, that was, that was yeah. So, can I, sorry, can I clarify what you're asking for? You're saying you've got the compound anyway, all you're asking is to agree a hard surface of some sort. Is that what you're saying? Well, we, we, 
You can see from the lease where the compound was allocated to go, which where the area we went, we went to look at a couple of weeks ago. And the variation you were asking for was for a temporary membrane to go down on the floor, not concrete or anything like that. So no. it can straight back up again, so that the goals can be wheeled onto this and the grass then doesn't grow through and become more of a problem. Well, okay. we, we can stay with that agenda item, yes. Can I go back? Yeah. So you're not asking permission to put a compound there, you're just asking permission. I, sorry, I need to get it clear, just for the flooring. No, no, it would, they would, would have to have the Harris fencing. Yeah, I know that, yeah. but I said you're not asking for permission to put the compound up because you feel you've already can do that without... That's where, we can. Thought, that's where we thought we were at, and obviously mm -hmm. I listened to the concerns of the council about okay. the compound. I'd, I'd be happy to un try and understand what your concerns about the compound are, why well, it's something you're not It's, it's not with. so much that we're unhappy with the compound, yep. we're unhappy that we have the ability to debate it, taken yep. away okay. from us. I, I, I completely hear that. Does anyone have any concerns about there being a compound on that side of games that might no. cause anybody now? I don't know. No, I was just concerned about the aesthetics of industrial yep. building yep. site, Harris fencing. Have you got something being... in mind that you would to well, with, like obviously the clerk mentioned some willow fencing just that can be put on it just to make it look more attractive and more in keeping with the surroundings, just so it could be dressed maybe appropriately. Yeah, that's how I So that was just what I wanted to clarify. That's what the variation was. It was the membrane to go down with inside the fencing, which we'll hopefully try and squeeze a bit. That was that was actually a, an initial approach in the email, which I think everyone has read and understood. I understood it. It just wasn't verbalised. Yeah. yeah. I think I think in in the, if you, agreeing the compound. Yeah. Because that was part of the written request. Yeah. I think that has received our agreement. Is that fair yeah. to say, members? Yeah. Yeah. The, the the membrane as part of the compound yeah. now has our agreement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was also stated at the site meeting mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I've got it in the notes. Uh, then we will move on to item nine, which is the town hall accessibility, the consideration and resolution. Um, is there any, I just address any further since the um, full council written, or is this just yeah, a yeah. knowledge and commitment phrase? We have been giving it some thought, and um, kindly, um, one of our caretakers is looking into the issues of, you know, all of the um, the, the sort of matters that we would like to sort of amend. So um, he will put forward some prices and ready, ready for you to consider. So he is working on that. Mm. And the week of remembrance, did he have someone out having a look with him, like someone given some professional guidance? I think, yeah, he's also he looking at PA system. Um, so accessibility comes with, you know, a good sound system, which was mentioned in the public forum, um, front doorbell, um, looking at the, perhaps the lift um, and also uh, the lighting in the toilets. So he's going to put them that together. But we have communicated that and he's more than happy to, to get on with trying to get some prices for us. Um, while we're talking about the town hall accessibility, um, I had a resident contact me this week and I do believe she's been in contact with you to confirm that she has now managed to get a bus service for people to come in to the Tuesday coffee morning that we have here. We have a Tuesday group, don't we, come in on a Tuesday morning? Yeah. What's I, here? yeah. Um, and the, um, she obviously is going to have it come up the back drive and drop off here so they can come in through this door. So accessibility for them is is, is better. Is, is that correct? That was yeah. how she relayed it to me. I read that really quickly, but yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. I so I actually think that that was amazing. That come out of one of the... Um, Councillor surgeries. Um, I went back and done some casework for her and got obviously some information on bus groups and, and, and stuff that she'd asked for. So she's gone and contacted them because she couldn't get the Connect bus to do it on a Tuesday because they've changed to a Thursday. So they weren't bit through the other information and links that I sent her. She did get another company, I think she said from Watton, that are, are coming out now collecting people on a Tuesday rather than them try and get access through this door, they're going to come in through these double doors, which I think is a really good compromise and like how collective working together can, yeah. can come about. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Can I? Yes, of course. Yes. No, I'm just going to say accessibility. 
um, one of the biggest issues is the dreadful state of the path, the driveway. Mm -hmm. um, is that being incorporated in the look at accessibility because yeah. driving up there or trying to get up there in a wheelchair is... is yeah. That I mean, I, Vera can probably give some history to this as well. Um, a few years ago, Councillor Ellis is yes. laughing, a few years ago, probably six, maybe seven so years maybe ago, longer. Um, we did try and actually have yes. some work done on that driveway. And obviously it is unadopted, it isn't owned by us, we just no. have access through it. We did try and work with all of the residents that actually mm -hmm. have access through there to come to a compromise. I actually think we offered to pay a greater proportion to bring yes. their contributions down and unfortunately there wasn't enough buy-in from the residents even those that were complaining about the state of the driveway there wasn't enough buy-in from them for us actually to proceed because I think where we do have to be mindful although it is our access we do have access through there if we start maintaining unadopted roads we are then like, like opening a floodgate for all unadopted yeah. roads and for the top of my head let's just say Griffin Lane because I know Griffin Lane is one of them but for an example um I do think that and I think at that time we just had a tarmac path that went along the front of the building like our yeah, just our, now the town yeah. archives yeah. and that done bit, yeah maybe we can look at maybe a strip rather than the whole in amongst this project so like a, a pathway that comes up it rather than the whole drive what you want what what i would suggest is we have a wheelchair width yeah and then that means the cars that use it all not i'm not talking about council stuff i'm talking about everybody else that uses it will actually drive each side of the strip but it's got to be a wheelchair width, which was what i, I suggested think there's probably the enough room to come up the side here and leave mm. the drive in the middle but yeah, i think that is maybe way. something we can get Priced yeah. that maybe rather than the whole thing, because for the whole thing you are yeah. talking you thousands and thousands. Because you've got people's garden. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So it, was, it, it was just an issue. Yeah. yeah. As you know, I, like, think, I think it's something I've, I've experienced in sort of personally yeah. Yeah. Mm. lately. Yeah. Um, and anybody that really is struggling, that would be driveway, pathway, mm. walkway is a nightmare. Accessibility from all angles. Yeah. That might yeah. be a bit more specialist. So yeah, yeah. Might be we have to get some scrolls, but um, we work with you know, and, and we would have to contact everybody yes, along there would. that owns that bit yeah. because yeah. if they're not prepared to allow us to do it again, it's a it's a new subject, mm -hmm. isn't it? We can't progress any further. I think that's our first book for them, isn't it? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rather than wasting time on quotes if they're not going to be And then before this progresses further, then we'll await the written report from the caretaker via the office. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Once it's ready. Yeah. Thank you. Any further comments before we move on? Yeah. Uh, so item 10 is the signage request to advertise Dodd Road Post Office. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm in touch with the uh, resident who uh, broached them. Mm -hmm. um, and I have had a picture from them. I must admit, I haven't had time to get a price in there. But I, and also when I met with the high road officer about the town side, so I, um, uh, I should have just asked him there and then, but it, just, it went out of my head. So I just sort of established contact again to see if that's something that um, you know, we can get price. We're all progressing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you for picking this up because obviously the resident had emailed in like a year ago. Oh, right. um, and actually, I think that bearing in mind we don't have a post office in the shop yeah. in the town anymore, this is yeah. actually a really valuable asset that needs to be advertised, especially when there is people that move to the town that are new to the town, and obviously with all the development we're having. So I think yeah. it is it is important. So will that come back to the yes, next one? Yeah. And it's, I do. The resident actually sat over there and oh no, oh, she sat over oh, there and made oh, participation oh, 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 to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, on. so she yeah. has, yeah, yeah. No and am I correct? I don't know if it was included in the meeting papers, but actually, this signage can also be a, a, be applied for as part of the. Yeah, I, I thought because um, it was like last minute. Funding, yeah. it? If it's okay with you, I could include it if I get pricing. But then you need to know what the price is. 
Um, so I could add it and then get it ratified at the mm. next meeting. Can I, if, is this for the post office side? Yeah. yeah. Well, if it's within your discretionary spend, I think we can agree this evening to we'll allow you to do that. Especially because it will be 50% funded. Yes, yeah, so I think if it, if it comes in within your... Okay, your, just progress yeah, it. Just to progress yeah. it. And if it needs ratification yeah. at the okay. next meeting, yeah. if it's a little bit bring it, bring then it bring it back. Yeah. Okay. But I think that's this is something yeah. that at the time we, it's long overdue. we, we it's made, long we long made overdue. a commitment yeah. to, um, to support it then. Level of um, item 11, uh, consideration for development of land at St Edmunds Close to appoint a solicitor for consideration and resolution. Um, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. So at this point, is it that we're agreeing to appoint the solicitor so we can get in our ownership and then further discuss yeah, what I mean, it is that actually we intend to do? I think it? with this one, we appoint a solicitor to act for us, but that uh, bill will be paid by the Brecon District mm. Council. So we'd, all we have to do is agree to appoint a solicitor. And I was going to suggest again, what, what is your option on that? Um, Sharon, would you like me to declare an interest at this point? Because Rogers and Norton are actually my solicitor. Okay. Um, I mean, yes. I haven't got a particular interest in it, but should I? I feel like yeah. maybe I yeah, should you declare it. it. Yeah, I will declare an interest. Mm -hmm. So, I, so yeah. I won't, I won't vote, um, but I'll remain yeah. present because it's not a pecuniary interest. But I will declare an interest as they are my uh, my solicitor. Yeah. Um. So, can I please have a? They're already working for us, aren't they? Yeah, and other yeah. matters. Yeah, yeah, and other matters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Carry on. So I, I, yeah, I propose we stay with the same solicitor then. Okay, yeah. the firm anyway. It might, they might give us another solicitor. Yeah. But within that yes, firm. but yeah. within that company. Yeah. yeah. And Councillor Joe Taylor seconded that. Yeah. And can I have a show? Thank you. Yeah, you know, majority. I'll, I'll, I'll abstain. Yeah. Um, we then have um. Item 12, which is update on the S-106 application for the payer of improvement at Lowman Road. Oh, before we move on, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, when the old signage, upper signage comes out, can we retain one, one that's in better condition? Because if you come in from deeper into Attleboro, the Attleboro sign there, because there is actually one of those white signs there, is absolutely horrendous. It's really faded, really dirty, really dingy. So if we have one that's actually in all right, can Nick, can we repurpose it to there? In that more discreet location. I will give you a, I'll show you on a map, Sharon, later yeah. where it is. But if we, one of the old ones, if we can repurpose it, just so it's not so tacky and, okay. and shoddy. Yeah. Thank you. You can move on then. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so item 12, update on the S106 application for the payer of improvements at Longland Road. I know you've been very busy meeting to the co consultants. Yeah, um, I've got Sharon, you. how is that going really so far? Um, yeah, I'm just now waiting for the two um, sort of uh, pictorials and prices to come back. So it shouldn't be too much longer. And hopefully, I'll have them by the next meeting. Um, I've just got to um, arrange for a third. Um, and I haven't decided who that's going to be yet, but um, that will be my next job. So okay. I will meet with them. Um, and also incorporating somehow, um, I think it would be nice whether it's at Lowman Road or whether it's at Birch Drive, uh, that lovely um, sensory maze idea. So where that is going to be put might be extra, um, but I'll see how the pricing is going and what have you. But uh, I found out who, who actually, one, one of those who are quoting uh, that's the company that made that Okay. So if I know how much it was or it is, you know, at current prices. So yeah, so I will look at that extra because that could be something that we put. And that curiosity, is it a lot or is it uh sixteen thousand? Oh, it's not that bad. It's in the scheme of things, you know, century. Well high equipment is not cheap. I was gonna say is the is that out for section one oh six or have we got time to build that into budgets for next year? I, I will look at that once I get all the other prices back. I can then weigh it all up. Yeah. So hopefully it won't be too much longer. Okay. And in time for the budget, obviously. <laughs> but because it's Section 106 money, that doesn't that in itself doesn't need to be incorporated. Perhaps the maze does. So mm -hmm. uh, the only thing I am mindful of is that the application has to be made by January. Yes. So yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm very mindful of that. But thank you for the yeah. the no time you've actually for which I meet people. <laughs> um. 
Does anyone have any comments on this before we move on? Or are we happy for Sharon to continue to progress it as she has been? Very happy. Thank yes, you. Sharon. Uh, item 13 is the Wild Stations Project, request for donation of 180 tree guards for the native hedgerows. Uh, this is for consideration resolution. We have Hannah and Jane here this evening. Um, obviously, they have said that they would like to participate. Mm -hmm. Can I have a proposal and second to suspend? Thank you. That's Councillor McKinnon, by, seconded by Councillor Dale and Michelle Ferris, please. Yes, you know. Thank you. Ladies. All right. Um, Sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit. The history is, did you, did you get the email earlier and have you read the email? So we're really passionate about getting the station car park to look something really beautiful when people get off of a train that they arrive in Attleboro and instead of just being greeted by a chicken factory, they're greeted by plants and flowers and something looking extremely attractive. And we've got we teamed up with part of the heritage group, so we teamed up with them already. They've got station adopters that work on the platform. The platform looks absolutely amazing. We're taking on the car park side and the platform um, station adopters are helping us as well to get this ready now. So we've actually almost got the full 60 meters dug out ready for planting saplings. But this is where we come and start. We've got some saplings that Taylor from the um, from Woodland Trust, but there we fell short, and Hannah has um, put her hand in her pocket and got a few additional amount of saplings that we need at quite a base six pounds. And we need tree guards for the saplings, which is 164.99. We do not envisage at any time in the future that we would have to come back to council and ask for any money towards this. But we are desperately sort of holding our hands up tonight and saying, would you, would you? please donate to the station car park so that we can have something in Attleboro that we can be proud of and build on community-wise and encourage other people to become station adopters because Greater Anglia on their area has already got, well, they've got over 300 and station adoption is becoming a bigger and bigger thing for the community. So to get people involved in making the areas look beautiful mm -hmm. is out it. Mm -hmm. If you could mm -hmm. donate some money, we'd be extremely grateful. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Please, please drop them at us. Does anyone have any comments? Sharon, is there anything that you've got um, well, we have spent all of our donations by I was just talking to add that out so that we can add on more reserve. Or alternatively, we do have some money left over in the community books sale. Oh, well, I'll put my hand up then because I was oh, going to no, say no, exactly no, the same no, thing. Yeah. Councillor Dale, did you have something to say? So, did you have your hand up? No, I was just going to say thank you. <laughs> yes. I do have another thought. Yes. When we're taking down all the old Attleborough signs, would you like one to build into the garden? Welcome to Attleborough. Yeah, yeah. that would be rather nice. Yeah. Yeah. If we've got any that are. Nice. Yeah, that's As nice you say, idea. repurposing, recycling, yeah. might be something to build into one of the yeah. displays. That, that would be really nice. I mean, we've got one lady who has actually offered us half of her garden. Mm. We've run out of time, we couldn't get down there to get, get it dug out in the autumn. But in the spring, we're literally going and splitting up her garden to replant into the car park. It's why I know that we can't go to make a lot of money going forward. Um, my husband died last year, and I'm hoping to, um, by loving the plant in his memory, by the Bowls Club, so that when people come in, they've got the smell of lavender, and it's calming and something to be really proud of. Okay, so... Well, I'd, I would be more than happy to propose that we use some of the book club funds, because that doesn't then need to go to full council to... Okay. Does it? Is, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm asking no, you no, 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 Can I ask how much is left? Please. Um, that I don't know. <laughs> I think, yeah, I want, I want to say it was like 401. Yeah, I want yeah, to say 400. But I just, it is, it's around 400 pounds, give or take. Yeah, so so the whole, whole point of that is that it goes back to the community for a community project of the community yes. groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be a beautiful mm -hmm. use for it. And mm -hmm. I think in Jane's letter, um, it did actually, I don't know if you've got it here, there was two parts. So there was the cost in for the um, 
This is the letter. Yes. yes. The, there's the costings. Yeah, so there was the costings for the tree guards for the saplings, and then there was also the cost for the additional saplings. Now combined, that totals £250, 99p. We have a copy of the receipt for the saplings. The tree guards obviously haven't been purchased yet. So it's whether what part of this we're happy to fund, just so that the proposal is really clear. So we've got £86 for the additional saplings. 164.99 for the tree guards for 180 tree guards or uh, no that's 200 biodegradable tree guards um and that totals 258 pounds 99 p i propose we pay it because the full amount, the full amount because, amount because yeah. it's it is for the town yeah you know it's for the community it's so yeah first impression yeah account, don't they? yeah council mckinnon you second in that yeah <laughs> okay and that's coming from the book sale. Can I have a show of hands, please? Yeah. That's unanimous. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, next, we have item 14, which is the second public participation. Would anyone like to participate? Yes. Um, the unfortunate situation with the pathway that runs at the back of the field is not going to be a quick fix, in my opinion, unfortunately. Um, so all the foot traffic will be going through the personnel gate beside the gate where the guys go in with their machinery. It might be wise to try and put some sort of mitigation down there, otherwise that will just turn into a mud mm. And those folk who are going through, particularly with wheelchairs or push chairs, will find it difficult. But it might be worth getting some of well, that mat that you can put down as a short-term temporary fix yeah. to try and help oh, that. Put some like, um... Well, they gravel down, don't they, when this happens, like the yeah, kind of but I will speak to the ground. Yeah. 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 Yeah.